Captain Everett A. Boodle. I was born right here in the Selma Cooper Sound on the 21st of February 1941. Went to school right here in Cooper Sound. At the age of 14, I had to leave school. That was the norm at that time. 1947, I leave school. And went to work as a seaman, commercial officer fishing boat. Got married at the age of 22. The father of nine children, 32 grand, and 12 great grand. Okay. What about you, sir? My name is uh, Daniel Williams. I school here in Cooperstown. On 1948, the 8th day of June, the, 28th, the 25th of June, uh, a road builder, uh -oh. and um, I uh, leave school at uh, 1963, went into Grand Bahama for employment, that's the best thing, and have um, start a new life over at the best, uh, our best in Grand Bahama and moving back up to, to Abaco. But you know, Abaco was the fishing village, you know what I mean? So, where were you during Hurricane Dorian? Right here in Cooperstown. Um, I always like to um, tee off of Hurricane uh, Floyd. Floyd. Because Hurricane Floyd was one of the dangerous hurricanes I thought would ever hit the Bahamas and Cooperstown in particular. But Dorian take the cake. Yeah. Uh, what about you? It's the same, uh, same way, you know, like uh, Mr. Boodle say, uh, Hurricane Floyd, I thought it was going to, because that was one of the do in my lifetime, it's one of the power hurricanes. And, mm -hmm. I was right in the mix of it because at that time I was working for a ministry of work and I had to move around and getting things, getting people to shelters and different other, mm -hmm. other things. And I never thought that I would have seen a hurricane, where is it in Hurricane mm -hmm. uh, Floyd? Yeah. But a daughter and I spent, <laughs> that was right there, I spent three days in the house, couldn't get out, no place, mm -hmm. just do, but uh, very good friends, you know, the, mm -hmm. they're like Belgium Curry, mm -hmm. uh, Gary Smith, and the police play party of those. They were up and down and making sure everything was all right. But Hurricane Dorian, wow, mm -hmm. I could see a lot. Yeah. 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 So you, that was a whole different, that was yeah. a whole different oh, ball game. Different, different ball, ball game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. how do you like, how do you think Hurricane Dorian compared? So presumably you've, you've lived through many storms in Africa, right? Uh -huh. um. How, how do you think that preparation for Hurricane Dorian was different than other storms or people's anxiety? Well, you, you could not prepare for Hurricane Dorian. You know, you, you uh, because we have never used to know Category 5 like that. Hurricane Floyd was more prepared than Hurricane Dorian. Hurricane Dorian came with a different, different mindset. Water, wind, and everything else was, was so uh, was gone. See, my first hurricane I uh, ever attended was in 1946. We were probably five, six years old. We were running out of our house, picking up coconut, breaking people's sugar cane down, and run back and I was eating them. And, but hurricane Floyd, I understand how dangerous it could be. Uh -huh. And hurricane Dorian, I, I, I hope I will never see one like that ever again. Do you remember your first hurricane? Yes, uh, my first hurricane I can remember is Hurricane Donna. Mm -hmm. But during the time I was in uh, Nassau, mm -hmm. a, a young little boy, and I've, um, when I come back uh, to Abaco, a big male boat, mm -hmm. uh, you may hear people talk mm -hmm. about it, this, uh, the Steve mm -hmm. Bunnett. Mm -hmm. And when I get to find out the Steve Bunnett was up on the rail, I said, well, why? <laughs> you know, we had that in Nassau. Yeah. But Hurricane Donna, you know, she, mm -hmm. uh, the Abacos, mm -hmm. she just started. And back to Hurricane, uh, uh, Dorian, you know, that, that, that evening before I closed, that Saturday evening, I just tell one of my customers, I said, just have me uh, fill the uh, frig refrigerator doors up for in the morning, you know, because that was around about t uh, 10 o'clock when, when I leave out of here. It was 11, 30, uh, you know, and something to 12. So the news was on, so I hear, and I can't remember which uh, channel was, I hear, and 
new supporters said, you know, my heart go out <laughs> for the people to know that because, well, you know, you, you know, yeah. this, this American news, <laughs> you know. So I said, oh, but then I ain't going now. I said, let me get up that, that replay. And the replay come back on again. And I listened to it, so I said, boy, this song will be something. Uh -huh. But still yet, I just thought about, you know, it, I had really, it wasn't going to be bad as I can uh, play. And I got in, and that night, that uh, night, you could hear the wind blowing there. But that Sunday, I never seen nothing uh -huh. like that in my whole life. I didn't have no flood out. I even had nothing here to my roof, to my, uh, to my house. But my business, everything, you're doing no water. It was just so much an order by my patio and then I just stand but you know neighbors was just checking and, and saying and things that are just when they come to a chubby disco and the next thing on I couldn't believe it until I uh, hold back and they went to Marsh Harbor, they went to Treasure Key and had to report from the different keys and they say you got us in an eye ready to go but when I get up and done this in my feet down in Marsh Harbor and I see it I had to cry because I never thought that like that could happen. You know what I mean? It was, hey man, it's, you know what you're seeing. Uh, it's uh, here now because to go back, but you wouldn't believe to what done this might be and Marsh Hour, Green Tail, King Manawa, Hope Town, what it was, and to see in three days time to what happened. You know, it's, you know, you have to see. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so when you say you, so you close you close this where we are right now right this, uh, yeah. this, this restaurant yes restaurant. Uh -huh. tell us about this space there the space yeah like, yeah, like tell us about tell us about your business oh the, the business is yes it's one of the regular uh, the business and this is where most all of the the settled people come to sit down you know you want to talk sports you want to talk politics this is uh, what it's all about by right? chubbies you know you can see the sign there and everything but you know i used to be uh own a softball team and his son used to be the one of my protege used to be the manager of the baseball team and everything muffled right from here you know what mm -hmm. i mean that just before you all walk in the general was in the car he said man you got everything here you got to open back up you know what i mean and they, but this is even now just close you know we sit on my patio there and tell us them before we got to go to other valley just come and sit with somebody because I tried to be as comfortable as I possibly could, you know, because it come from my generation, from my grandfathers, it was down to my mothers, you know what I mean, and I know and know how to handle strangers and know how to handle the needy ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how long, how long have you had Talk of the Town? The Talk of the Town was built in 1966. My brother, he built it, and you know, at that kind of time I was young. I couldn't uh, run it, but I come in 73, after I come back home, during the day of the dolphin, the movie cut at Abaco Height. Then I decided to take it over and run it. And I had it from 19, uh, from 73 to now, you know. She been through all of the little hurricane, uh, hurricane and stuff, and I had to remodel it back, get it back together. But this is the spot. If you come to Abaco, you got to come to the top. You got to see each other. <laughs> Mr. Moore, you agree? <laughs> right, 100%, 100%, yeah, yeah. So, you're a Chubby's regular? Oh, yeah. Mm. Every day, uh, Every day. after 1 o'clock, one, from 1 to 4, just, except Sunday, yeah. this very much. So, are, are you two friends? Yeah, not only friends, we're first cousins. First cousins. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, me and his brother was the best of friends. Yes, yeah. oh, yeah. And he took his place. Yeah, yeah. But he got killed, you know, yeah. well, he, he was, he was like, we went to see together. He oh, was yeah. like brothers, yeah. Uh -huh. so did y'all so grow up together? Or? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he was much older than yeah. we, we grew up together after I, get, right. after I mm -hmm. come back home and do well, mm -hmm. the tragedy because for me to know anything mm -hmm. and to know anything about my brother, mm -hmm. I have to deal with him. Yeah, yeah. And to know uh, yeah. anything that's yeah. going on, you know what I mean, because he traveled before oh, me yeah. and when I, I have to stick with him. Yeah. And I, you know, now you know, know yeah, I know what he knows. Uh, and I bring the street out you know, the and I, you know, it, yeah. uh, Mr. Bill, you've been a long time resident of Abaco, right? You've all my life, yeah. Life. Eighty years. Okay. Uh, what are some of your fondest memories of growing up on Abaco? Well, as a boy, um, you know, um, going to Green Tail Key was one of one of, <clears throat> one of the um, activity that you look for is for my father used to run the mail service between Green Tail Key and North Abaco. That's how I come to know all the Sawyers, our great grandparents now. And, but 
Growing up, to me, we had more fun than we have now. Because you could go swimming, go graping, go um, sugar my candy, and, and, but you don't do that. Wild ball hunting. Wild ball hunting, uh, boy, boy egg hunting, and log head egg digging. That was, you look forward for that every summer after Coca -Cola school. Coca -Cola, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. But um, this community has, over the, from in 72, 73, started to develop. And I think some of that was lost in the way. So it sounds like you spent a lot of time on Abaco as a child too, though. All, all my life. I, I've, I've never spent more than six months out of Abaco. Okay. All my traveling, I never spent more than six months at one t given time. Mm -hmm. So I, I saw it grow from a uh, bush to what it is today. Oh. I mean, there, there were days when you want to go to the next Elmer Day. I walked the bay, there wasn't no road. If you want to go to Little Abaco, you had to go on the boat. To Marshall, we had to go on the boat. So this road was through in 72, there about. What about, but, but, so you spent some time away, you moved to... Yeah, I spent some time uh, in Grand Bahama in Nassau, but I went back and forth, mm -hmm. and I have that, you know, I have that uh, uh, life because, like I said, there, you know, the wild out garden, mm -hmm. you know, we go and fishing, and, and the main thing, because you know, uh, this part of Abaco mm -hmm. North is the fishing village, mm -hmm. and you know, when you leave school, like ever so much earlier, you know, at the age of fourteen, mm -hmm. we scholars got to go to the school, we got a rope behind us, got to in the boat, but then, then you learn, because that was the big, that was the big. You know what I mean? To do and I, I used to enjoy that. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. the time. I look forward to, for that every, yeah. every summer. I had to move backwards and forward. But as uh, I, I, I was talking about that yesterday, mm -hmm. yesterday evening, to repeat, like, I would like to see that back again. Mm -hmm. I'd form to, for this generation to see. Mm -hmm. Because this, this, this generation, you know, everything is electronic. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. To see what we have to go through mm -hmm. to survive mm -hmm. and to see how. We were so happy about it, and, and you know, humble and, and, and doing it, and just listen to our, uh, mm -hmm. our older parents mm -hmm. tell the whole story, you know, you eating the roast corn, mm -hmm. you know, the roast potato, and the, 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 good, uh, the, the good things, you know what I mean? And we will uh, go into other people's field and say, we can take two, we go take one or two watermelons. <laughs> and, you know, they, they, they were the fun part, they, they, were, they, they were the fun part of it, you know what I mean? And uh, to, to do it back again, like you say, I would like to do it back again because I enjoy it. I enjoy swimming from the government dock down to media's dock, swimming back up, whole crowd of stuff. That's what summer. You don't see that these days. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Okay. Well, I'm not getting your last name. I'm so sorry. Bernal Williams. Bernal yeah, Chubby Williams. Right. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't remember. Yes, yeah. that Chubby. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't want to call you Chubby. You know, I don't want yeah. to be your little friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you see the, the, whole, the, whole, the whole of uh, the Bahamas know. Chubby. Chubby. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you, you say, well, now somebody may, he had Mexico, I don't really know, but she was saying me, that said, but you, that's it, Chubby, that, that's the big alias name. Okay, yeah. I, I didn't want him again. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so what do you think, so you talked about, like, you growing up on Africa, you talked about, yeah. Mr. Williams, you talked about your summers coming to Abaco too. What do you think you would be most surprised to know about the Abaco that you grew up on? Yeah, well, you know, uh, we are learned it, but they would like to, especially in a day and time, everybody who come now, they want to go fish. Mm -hmm. They want to they, they, they want to go fish. And, and today, some people have a lot of Americans come. They want to go wild ball hunting. You know, they, they want to go, this thing called Kahaki, and you know, but, you know, they want to go uh, do that, you know, because the, the Abaco is, is, is full of that, because you have the ocean side to, uh, to the north, and you have the banks uh, uh, to, uh, to the south, and you could do good hiking because it's low, it's low water, and the whole area from... Uh, you come from Marshall area, and all that was hunting ground, you know, for the, for the wild boar. And also we had a lot of wild horse, and uh, so too, and we still got a lot of wild cow. But it was fun, you know what I mean, you know, seeing it, and people come from all, all over, uh, come just to, to be a part of that and to do that, you know what I mean. There's many other people, you know, like I have uh, one of my friends, my protege, uh, uh, 
uh, then they'll ski a roller. Every time anybody come, I say, hey, get them dogs, get him and the space car, you know, say, these people want to go hunt, uh, hunting. And that's where I say, I can't, I can come on the set, but I can't promise them they can get help. You know, he, he always, yeah, he always do that. But that, that was the fun part. And we growing up, that was the main part. That was enjoyment. You know what, I mean? yeah. okay, what about you, Mr. Budo? Anything you think people would be surprised to know about you? Because I was surprised. I have a grandson. Uh, he, he's doing a lot of uh, research. He got one of these grown, grown. He's grown. And he, one day he came to me and he, he said, Pa, he said, he, he said, name me three, um, d he said, dive hole in, in Abaco. But I'm only going to name two, one south of Treshiki Airport and one east of Blackwood and one east of Fire Road. And he showed me, it's about 15 or 16, those deep holes mm -hmm. on this island of Abaco that I never knew about. And I think that's that's something that should be um, very loud with that because a lot of people just go all over the world look for, for those deep dive holes they call them. I heard they found one in the back, um, what you call it, by Farm Road almost. Yes, they're not yeah, going that, towards the farm. The that, I know about that, that one. The and then one on East of Blackwood. Yeah. They were the two. They say, I think somebody said they, they found one the other day because they gone and take a tractor and the tractor drop. Drop in though? They, they sent a tractor in the back there to uh. go. Oh. Out and uh, the did they ever find the tractor? I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, because some of them go very deep. Yes, yeah, no, yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. A lot, you know, and um, they need to be found and 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 be um. They could be a sightseeing operational. Everybody know you from here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kind of yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so um, Mr. Budo, you were a boat captain. Yes. And Mr. Williams, you spent some time around the island. Yes. Right? Killing so, and stuff. Uh. And so obviously, you know a lot about the relationship. Abaco is the, supposed to be the boat building capital of the Bahamas. It is, right? it is, yeah. It is yeah, the boat building capital. Uh-huh, yes. Uh -huh. And you know a lot about, like, how do you think Abaconian's relation to the sea has changed over your lifetime? Tremendously, because right now, among the young, um, younger gentlemen, I, I cannot name 12 young captains in, as, as from Abac I mean, Abaconia. Mm -hmm. And that, that, was a, that was a thing to do. Yeah. If you wasn't a captain or mate or seaman, you probably couldn't find nothing else to do. Sorry. That's the white and black. The yeah. black bunks, the black and the yeah, white, yeah. yeah, from from Cherry Key right to all the way to Grand Key. Yeah. yeah. That was the pride in your yeah. life. Uh -huh. I know there were times when there was about six or eight commercial lobster fishing sufficient boat traveling between Albuquerque and Florida. Mm -hmm. And I spent ten years on one of them. <laughs> you know, so it's, uh, I, I see that as fair. You know, now everybody is diving the crawfish, swearing the crawfish and Flying the crawfish out to the to the U.S. We used to transport them, because her great grandfather they had four motorboat. Yeah. His uncle Sammy so he had two, three. You know, she got plenty of money. You said, yeah, you know. Is that in the soil? Yeah. That's your great granddaddy, right? Sorry, great granddaddy. Yeah, that was in the soil. Yeah, Russell so yeah, they. It did well in, in, the, in the crawfish business in Abaco. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sounds like you know everybody in Abaco. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Small community, you know. We just a different settlement. We, uh, um, know every, you know, like I see that, 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 that. And I think that that seaman life created a lot of friendship from Cherokee to Grand Key, like I say, because most of the motorboat or the lobster fishing, but they used to come in the black community to get the crew to go with them. Mm -hmm. So everybody loves one, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people, speaking of you know, like everybody living as one, that uh. unity. A lot of people kind of said that uh. Dorian was the first time they felt that unity in a long time. No, I think it depends on where you live. See, cause like I, I would say like Marshaba. Marshaba itself is like a melting pot, but everybody in Manawa know everybody. Everybody in Guanakee know everybody. Everybody in Mount Lawan, except some of the homeowners knew home. 
You see, and, and I think Marsh Alba would, everybody take the teeth from Marsh Alba. There's a lot of uh, non Abaconian lives in Marsh Alba. You see, and I think that's, that's where they are. But Hurricane Dorian, like I said, it brings it bring back a different, because who, who didn't get killed, they know somebody who got killed. Yeah. And I think that they realized that could have been them, you know, so. Uh -huh. what, what about either of you, like, have you, did you experience any losses in your families? Pardon? What about um, both of you, did any of you experience losses in your family? From Hurricane Dorian? Yes, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, and just, yeah. just like I have to uh, say that, uh, that um, Hargan, uh, Doreen, uh, it, it brings that unity back. Uh, yeah. And people get to see how it is. Because right then, a lot of people uh, right here on this porch, uh, it come from Grand Hill Key, mm -hmm. they come from other places. And, and you know, they never seen, not like that, like mm -hmm. I said much earlier, you know what I mean? And people just was, uh, when they could go and just given their car key away and like it, it, they don't want to come back it, here. It, it, no more. Yeah, yeah, so because but, you know, people, you know, Treasure Key uh, and Marsha would say they know you know train in Abaco. <laughs> but they were hearing train and sounds, you know what I mean? And the people of Marsha and Treasure Key, they seeing more in what we oh, see. Oh, yeah, uh, you, you know you see in this uh, the city of Marsha. Mm -hmm. And for you to know that was under the ground. You that was at least about mm -hmm. 19 to 20 feet of water. Because I know at the boat right there by the uh, way the bank, Scotia Bank, that boat was to the dock. And that boat mm -hmm. moved from the dock and come right yeah, down yeah, the time. So yeah. you look in the, the boat, but okay, yeah. you're looking at yeah. about 20 feet of, of water. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you know, Marsha was on the, you know, mm -hmm. under the water, you know. Because you know, yeah. when I go on there, I tell you the truth, uh -huh. I never thought uh -huh. Marsha would have come back as quick. Come back. I never thought fresh key would have come because we only had the fresh coal. Yeah, yeah this area from that black wood to a little abaco mm. area, but they had the whole, mm. the whole full mm. bunch. They had everything, you know what I mean? Mm. You know, you could, you know, you swim in the water and here's there people right inside you. Yeah, know, yeah, 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 all yeah. Time, you know, and then you know, you have to come, you, you know, you're still alive, but yeah. you gotta come, but you still have to help. You know. Let me say this, anyone who was in Albuco or in the Marshall Alba area the day before Hurricane Dorian and the day after Hurricane Dorian, they have to put their hand on the head and yow. Because I've never seen nothing like that. You know, when you look at um I don't recall I don't have a statistic of the that day when the Marsh Alba was was created. Established, but Murphy and Dunderstown, you're familiar with those two communities. Yeah. They started in 1932 yeah. uh, because there was a storm come from the south yeah. and destroyed uh, the two communities, which was on the south side of Abaco. And the government at the day migrated the people to Murphy Town and Dunderstown. And then those people went to uh, When those people went to Mifey and Dunderstown to live, they had to use machete to cut a little track road to get to build to build their little hut to live. And from 1932 till the 1st of September 2019, they was building in Marsh Harbor, Mifey and Dunderstown. And 70 hours, Hurricane Dorian flattened it. Yeah. You know that that that, that tells you what. Scary. And Marsh yeah. Albert's the capital of Abaco, that's the commercial hub of Abaco. And when that went down, everybody thought that Abaco would never survive again. But I think it's come slowly, but I, I think what's going to happen, it's going to be bigger, I mean better. Because whatever you build now, you're going to build it and resistant to any kind of hurricane. Because some things were built in, in Abaco was never supposed to have been built. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah, so, you know. It's a busy street. Yeah. yeah. 
some things, you said some things about them were never supposed to be built. Huh? You said they were never supposed to be built? If they ever re rebuilt? You said it was never supposed to be built. Well, I mean, when I'm saying, if, if you look at it, then you'll say, well, Abaco will never bounce back. But I think it's, I haven't been in Marshall for many months now, but I keep asking, they say, well, things begin to move. Marshall and Treshiki, things, things start to move. Uh, it take a long time to clean up, and but when you look at it, like I said, from 1932 to 2019, how many years that is? Eighty-seven. Okay, well, they, it took us eighty-seven years to build. How can Dorian come in seventy hours of flatness? <laughs> you think you can take two years to build it back? <laughs> That's what you try to get there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, take time, yeah. And I think a lot of people realize they made some mistake in building, making shortcut. Yeah. I don't think you'll see that no more. Even contractors was making some shortcut on, on people building. But now I think now, because the government, what the government put in now, we have three civil engineers on our court to make sure that everything go the way it's supposed to go. Mm -hmm. And um, have you, so Cooperstown, where we are right now, was, mm -hmm. was largely spared by the storm. Yeah. But have you seen any, like, changes up here because of all the changes down there in Mount Sharper, down south in Mount Sharper? Well, I see now, I see a lot of, I mean, uh, uh, what I call it, um, business opportunities begin to yes. migrate in the north now. I see that, you know. So a lot more businesses coming? Yeah, lot, I see a yeah. lot, lot more businesses coming up here now. Like, and like it, which is good, you know. Uh, see, but Marsha Abba was, but Marsha Abba was a little bit caught up, you know. Mm -hmm. Marsha Abba wasn't designed for what it was, was, the, was before Hurricane Doreen. Because you go in Marsha Abba, sometimes you'll be in them corners for hours before you can get out because the road wasn't designed for what, and the, 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 the space was in the sign and everything was cluttered up and I think now if they, this is a good time for them to lay Marshall about the way so if they, they want they would say there's a city it's now the time for them to get it lay out as a city mm -hmm. uh, so what's, like what are some businesses that have been coming up here because but like a building supply because that that is a shortage because I mean, a lot of things um, you know a lot of building material is needed. And that just seems to be the, the, the handicap of some development. Because everything now got to come from NASA or, or the USC wants to go in Marsh Harbor. See, after Floyd, everybody who wants to build a material, they pick in the truck, go to Marsh Harbor and collect it. Yeah. yeah. But now you have to order it from Nassau and Nassau or the U.S. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, that's a, we have weekly, we have weekly, weekly um, freight boat comes in and out, but they only could bring so much, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, the freight boat always used to come weekly or? Oh yeah, yes. yeah, oh yeah, they always come weekly. But see, the demand is so great nowadays and um, when you see these homeowners start rebuilding back, you, you, you know, that, that can be another. You, you will never have enough building supply places. Uh -huh. Right now you do have that because uh -huh. uh, uh, right now um, you have the port down here mm -hmm. and uh, one in Marshall and the boat's coming in and you just can't. Keep that's a lot of people are uh, saying, well, I needed this, I needed uh -huh. that, and you just can't get it. Yeah. Even myself right now, I needed some uh, uh, doors and other uh -huh. different things. Uh -huh. uh, but. Uh, you just ain't getting the, uh -huh. the, the right dose. I had to send my daughter in there, so I meant she will put it over on the main. Right, because you're rebuilding chubby. Yeah, yeah, rebuilding chubby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, that, that is... Tell uh, the, so tell us what the damage you had to chubby is because of the storm. Yes, uh, uh, to the north side, uh, more than half of the, the roof went. And uh, everything, well, it was in there, it was rock, rock sheet out. But I changed the whole plan. I just put the three one uh, 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 rock. Three one plywood, you know, what it'll be more better, more holder, mm -hmm. uh, with any type of weather, with the water and wind and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I changed the whole, that's why I did. So I changed the whole 
I'll start traveling because that rocks you. Oh man, when that happened, I come out here that, that Tuesday. Yeah, if I'd seen you, I'd say, well, boy, I can't do it, but I just make a mind. I say, I got to go back all over it again, you know, because it, it, this door, which, you, which you're looking at right now, that was, the two of them were smashed right in. Uh -huh. But when the oh, rest yeah. it was in, all the, the, the uh, um, north part, part of the half mode, half of the roof uh, was up, you know. And things scared all about, but, you know, you can't blame the, the boy watches when they come and they could get free drinks. Uh, from, you know, they have uh, Yeah, they just have themselves, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, um, it's, uh, it's like much earlier you, uh, you said that um, uh, with, uh, things with Willie, yeah, you can see a lot of things after Harkin because a lot of young uh, business young man, yeah, you could see they well, put this up with, with the trucking business mm -hmm. and other different things. That, that mean a whole lot, you know what I mean? Because even all of the trucks which were marsh out to deliver stuff and stuff, they was yeah. under the water. Yeah. And the boys don't put this stuff together, get the trailers and they go and they go on and they go and they buy big trucks and mm -hmm. stuff. You got a big company with his, uh, with a three boys uh, from North and they put together and they got this uh, come in. Everything is looking good and everybody they're getting the bonefish place together, getting all the different things. So in the next couple of years, mm -hmm. you know, you'll see a, the north will be a, mm -hmm. a, a good way to go because young people already see what it is now and mm -hmm. they ain't scared now mm -hmm. they say, look, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would just put a car in the house and just get there and get into business. You know? mm -hmm. Do you think a lot of more people are moving up north too, Mr. Buddha? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, one of the, you know, like I said, living accommodation is your, yeah. is your challenge, yeah. too, you know. Yeah, yeah. You see a lot more if you see more living accommodation. Yeah. A lot right of people, right. uh, oh, the treasure key yeah. who house been down, they went to, to oh, some in Nassau and some in Lutra, and they look like they won't come back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This whole yeah, block people are scared, yeah. Yeah, 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 any place what available for rent is rented. You know, some people come, on, Mr. Williams, yeah. um, rent me, I said, well, you know, you know I, I have my kids and, yeah, can you and stuff coming down, they, you know, I, I can't rent because they, you know, when they could come, they, they ain't asking them to come, you know, they, <laughs> when they it. see they pop up any time, you know, but you want in this big house, I said, well, no, this is their house, you know what I mean, <laughs> and uh, they have to admit it, but. And people seen it now because a lot of the uh, uh -huh. the little subcontractors they do one apartment they do another thing they, they, the gate is open now uh -huh. you know? the gate is open now and I'm and I'm proud of it uh, yeah. you know like it, 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 it brings some disaster yeah. but also brings some yeah. opportunity opportunities yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. and so. With, so you said some people they they gone to they gone to yeah I know so, yeah, well I wouldn't say they ain't coming but but okay okay <laughs> I wouldn't say that but it's been so long they ain't been back so well <laughs> 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 yeah, every time he go by here was all he used to cry <laughs> there no there ain't no time to cry yeah, now yeah. time to start taking up debris <laughs> yeah because yeah. yeah, you got to get your but you know like Joe he said. Uh, People say they, they know you know train in Abaco, but you, you I don't know if you're familiar with train on the railroad track. Mm -hmm. it, but boy, I tell you, I've been hearing something that night. I fetch up and look at the lessons when the train hit the house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the then and all the things. Oh, you know, you only see them things on the railroad track. But I've been scared you now. If you ain't got good heart, you, you could be intimidated to come back. And I, I like to give uh, this to. Uh, my chief counselor and my administrator uh -huh. are doing uh, the, um, the hurricane right, right after the hurricane do. Uh -huh. My administrator and my uh, uh, chief counselor, they put everybody to work and they do the public job. They clean the area up and everything, uh, get together, even before uh, the people started coming in. You know, the, the chief mm -hmm. council and administrator, they get together and I can think. They put the locals to white mm -hmm. and wouldn't make sense. And I want to give them thumbs up. They did a mm -hmm. tremendous job, to, you know what I mean? And not uh, to the last part, uh, me and Everett, uh -huh. we uh, were, you were in Grim, the former <laughs> prime minister. <laughs> you are uh, as top generals, mm. he'll tell you everything shall be. Uh, and we now are uh, uh, Henfield and Menace. Uh, We're the top generals. Uh, so that you know what I mean? Uh, they my people. So if uh, I do, and I'm proud of my representative, 
No problem. No problem. Yeah. Yeah. Who's, who's, um, who's the chief counsel and the administrator? Uh, um, um, the chief counsel is of Ghana uh -huh. and the administrator is uh, Therese uh, Lang. Lang Boodle. That's my daughter. That's his daughter. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And did y'all have any relatives? So did y'all have any relatives that went to other islands or no? No, because yeah, uh, no. well, most of my of uh, uh, relative uh, in Freeport, mm -hmm. Nassau, mm -hmm. in Miami, mm -hmm. they was already there. I was the only one here, yeah. so I didn't have any. No, they no. were worrying about me, yeah. you know, because yeah. you couldn't you couldn't get no mess. Oh man, they were. Uh, they, they were really upset because first when the phone started like alive, we had to go on down to the bridge. That's where you get, 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 get no kind of uh, get to the bridge. Uh, then they hear my voice and I tell them I all right, you know what I mean. That that that, that was a joy, uh, joy for them. You know, uh, Everett, uh, one ever brought him into the state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Back, you know? One that's and in fact, I always tease him. He ain't catch yourself. Yeah, right there, boy, daddy. <laughs> Daddy come back now, Daddy let you beat you. Yeah. Daddy used to say only two things he's scared of is shortness of breath and turning the light and you never want to stop. And he loses his house and treasure keys, see? Yeah. And he looked like he... And the other brother, I have two brothers who live in treasure key and two sisters. And they, they are more, you know, they're well on the way to... But the other brother, he looked like he take a little while. I, I tell you, when you got to step up, you, you let Daddy down. <laughs> Everybody all getting back to business. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's like I say, it's slow, and I think it's for a good purpose, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, because I think a lot of things was built too quick, and the, the, the building code was not ahead to. And I think now, well, anytime you do something now, you're going to, that's maybe we have to control that, those shanty down there. Because they cause more problems in our yeah, shop yeah, with, yeah, with yeah, other yeah. things, you know. Because yeah. they was not, they was not regularized, they were, they were just putting things together. Mm -hmm. and, the, the wind just come and, not, and they were, they were, a lot of people went down with that. That's true, that's true. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And then they had those, those containers pile up around the dock, and they just get loose like mass missiles through the, through, the, through, the, through the town. They're knocking down houses, killing people. Ain't nobody know how many people gone yet. Yeah. Good day, good day. Good day. Uh, so, we got a lot to give God thanks, thanks for. Yeah. Uh -huh. But down on this end, from the airport, I say no, it was, it was like in the cold front. Yeah. But from the airport goes south. That's storm. Yeah, that's the yeah, that's storm did it. Uh -huh. and, and the thing about it, mm -hmm. all the uh, the news reporters, they were one in the north. Yeah. But eventually got to shoot the storm the ship. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, gone yeah. and hit Grand, East Grand Bahama. And you, you all been to Grand Bahama yet? Well, somebody else did. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the East, uh, East Grand Valley, yeah, they, they get. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, what are some lessons that we could learn from Dorian? Well, for sure, uh -huh. batten up. Batten up, yeah. Make sure, uh -huh. if you build in a house, yeah. make sure it's proper. But, yeah, make make sure, sure that contractor uh, do the right thing. Do the right thing. Mm -hmm. And you, you owe him be on them because mm -hmm. it ain't a plaything yeah. to what I'm not here. In my house, I hear cracking, I hear other things, but thank God I lose the roof. Just so when the rocks you do that, I just take the cutlass and I chuck it, that the work and I put a bucket there, and it's still right there now, but I yeah, still don't know what my house is there. Most I have to my business. And, uh, make sure whatever you want to do. Uh, you know, because shortcuts ain't gonna happen. Oh, ain't gonna happen. No, people find that out. And, and, uh, Take good uh, warning uh, from the uh, authority. Authority, yeah, yeah. When, when they say you walk away, you walk away. Please, yeah. because if it means leaving the island, go ahead, do that, you know, because I believe that was gonna, if you see another shop, uh, category five was ahead of the way, I believe everybody leave Abu could go away, either the U.S. or to where I don't think nobody want to go through that. No. See the water come up high above normal. Yeah. You got about 30 feet of water through the line of, yeah. of Avaco. You could That's higher than these late poles. You can imagine. Yeah. You, yeah. You, you're right downtown, you're across the town. <laughs> you know, you're down on Essie Boot. You can imagine mm -hmm. Essie Boot under the water. Under the water, yeah. All those houses, oh, those two stories in the water. It was on the water, yeah. You know, I, I, I seen uh, uh, the uh, touch uh, of it. Uh, I ain't seen it in real. Now we didn't have that down here, but up there, you know. Uh, 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 so. Okay. Uh, um. So, 
I'm gonna ask you each this next question individually, okay? So I want you to respond individually. Um, so, Miss, um, Mr. Williams, you know, you, re you have rebuilding chubbies. Um, what is your hope for the future of, of Cooperstown, Chubby's, Apico? What is your hope for the future? Well, my hope right now, you know, at my age, and, mm -hmm. at young, and I want to build Chubby's back uh, the way that's better, and I had it you know, before. Mm -hmm. And so my son and my grandchildren, and you know, uh, that they could come and they can take over the business and carry the business on mm -hmm. like I do. I will just be around, and you know, when my friends come around, just uh, we could sit and talk, but I would like for uh, my kids and my grandchildren or you know they give the same welcome that I do mm -hmm. to their customers and that's the main thing of business. You know, you, that good friendly smile, that good service and they, you know, you keep that up and you have, you won't have to worry because your business will go and they a friend will come and will tell an ex friend and you, you just keep coming. That's what it is happening to me just like that, you know. Sometimes I sit here, I don't know the place in there, but they'll tell you. Oh, I'm looking for Chubby. I said, here's the man. You know, you know, you know, you know and I come and I uh, greet them like I know them. You know, when they leave, they say, man, guess what I hear about you is, is the truth. So if you keep that, but if you come here, you got a knot on your face, leave that home. You know what I mean? Because ain't nobody want to see that. Because they, they could have that problem home, but because somebody is saying, hey man, you go down and talk with Chubby and you and Chubby, yeah, you'll forget about that. And that's... That's the way I can. Oh, my job is to forget about you. You don't forget about that problem. You know what I mean? Because I, I, you know, I, hey, the moment you come, I, I can give you your first drink. Hey, man, come on. How are chubbies? You know, you know what I mean? You know, and you come, mind you, I ain't got the chubbies, you know, but I say, well, okay. You have a short regal and apple juice, which you call a Billy Furka. I learned it from um, uh, the day of the dolphin. George e. Scott, the famous actor. And then, you know, he said he drank the side. He said, Scott, what this drink is? What's the name of it? He says, honey, uh, Billy Fricker, uh, that's apple juice and uh, she was regal. And that's my big drink when I go all over my book today because I know they do it. I, I, I use that. A, what, a Wicca? Uh, a Billy Fricker. Billy Fricker. Uh, Billy Fricker. 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 Uh, try that. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, apple juice and uh, 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 she was regal. You could use the Johnny Walker Black, too. Mm -hmm. you, that's your, they're tough scotch. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so if you. you you're using that, so someone say he being or she being the Beverly Hills. <laughs> and how's business? Very good. You know, I I, I can't complain. Even to right now, that I sit on my porch, you sit here. I wrote that you know, you know, the hot auto bars open and nothing, but business is good. Talk you know, to the they, town. They have to talk to the <laughs> Show that respect, and they come back to each other. You know. And then, you know you know, other places come to sit there. They want to. They, they want to drink a good, good cold there. And they come to you know to drink. And then when I get, they don't want to come to drink no soda, no juice. They want to feel it. Like you know, let them say, give me just a little bit more juice. You know what I mean? You know, they, they come to feel, to feel chubby. <laughs> okay. okay. Mr. Buddha, what is your hope for Abaco? Okay. You know what, Abaco? Um, this is forty million dollar container port just quarter miles out north of Cooperstown. I would like to see that up and running and serve its purpose what it was put there for. That's the catalyst for North Abaco and Abaco in general. Once that, that will create employment and opportunities at the same time for a lot of our young Abaconians, mm -hmm. Bahamians at large. And so, you know, as two I don't, I don't, two older Bahamians, right? Not uh, old, older. Uh, um, what is, I guess, what is your hope for the next generation of the Bahamas, of Bahamians? Um, that they would um, um, appreciate that title. Being a Bahamian is not just a slogan, that, that's a, it should come some responsibility, some, some pride with that. Because when you look at the amount of people who come from all over the world, try to come to Abaco and the Bahamas in general, some people lose their life, you know, our, our brothers and sisters down south, and Haitian, and this, this, uh, the, even the Cuban, they get them little reggae um, craft and just risking their life. That we have it right here and we wouldn't uh, recognize it and patronize it and do the things that 
to make it much better. I, I, I would like to see the next generation take care of the Bahamas like we did. So, because we leave it for them, I hope that they will be able to leave it for their, their children. Any thoughts for civilians? Yes, um, uh -huh. that's just a true word I would say. And it, it drew my mind back to uh, we saw you from Man of War. Mm -hmm. Man of War is the capital of a building boat in the bank. I took it all through the bank. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Man of War is the capital. And with those two brothers or whatever, to, you know, we like to see more of that. Because if you wanted a boat to, to build, the first thing you, you're going to Oh, well, you got to put in order, Mr. Harrell, oh, Mr. Zionist, you got to put in order to man of war for your boat. And it looked like they are dying out. And it's just so, and then we like to see that boat. I know during the time it was hard, right, because you have to go in the pine yard, looking about for timbers and stuff, but you don't have to do that now, because you could build it right out of the, uh, the, fiber, the fiberglass. But that was the jewel of yeah. Africa. That was the main thing. You know what is making you feel good? When I, you know, because I've been all over, I was building roads and stuff. But when I go place to the water side, I'm going to Hawkins Cook Island, I go to San Salvador. That's how I could I could say that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that, yeah, that, that identify as a different. That's how I Because it's the joy, because uh -huh. I know that's home. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And I, you know the, you know the difference from the boat with Bill and Andros. Mm -hmm. You know the difference from the boat with Bill and Long Island. Because mm -hmm. Abaco, you know, I'm not buying too much about homeland, but I know uh -huh. the, the boat is so beautiful. The rig, the, 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 that we on it, it's so beautiful. And we you know, and that's what you know what I mean. And, if you, you needed that touch, uh, you know, look at the mole and you need to get that uh, You look at uh, coming to north, you had the, the coffee when we, when we grew up, uh, your pride and joy, you got to first with rub and rub and before you could go in the bar to catch coffee. Mm -hmm. But that was the pride and joy. Mm -hmm. That was yeah, the main skillful, thing. Yeah, skillful, yeah. After you go for two seasons, you start your house. Yeah. You know, that, that was yeah, a, like a mother and daddy pride joy to their son. <laughs> You know what I mean? And they think you, you like to see that, back, yeah. that back. Not a whole community growing up with a bunch of young yeah, girls and yeah, a yeah. bunch of young women. No, not them. I like to see that come back and come back, especially Kurdistan. I love this town. You know what I mean? I, I like to see that unity, that, that front street, this back street. Mine it? It's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Grow the generation in, in, in the and I in the back of every those generation the generation in the back of me oh yes they're going from the corner down there welcome to uh, Kufistan coming and straight up to you could see through the, these corners they build the house but I want to save this generation now you know and I they, like they slow down you know that slow down yeah, they, they slow. you know come but I see since uh, I can Seen a catch, you know, you start to yeah, they start to do it and then up and down, looking both for properties mm -hmm. and getting things together. And that's and that's the drive. Who had a little boat they buy and they little boat and mm -hmm. if you're going to see the girl see that's the drive. You know, I sit here and watch it, I watch it. When they pass around they boat to take over the water. That's I wanna see that now. Because they seem you can have it now and all this yeah. it's sexy. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, 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 it done. Yeah, yeah. Nowadays, the first paycheck you make, your parents buy a piece of property. The first season you buy, then you start buying your your lumber. And then Pine Ridge was the the, build, the building and um, the material capital or Nassau, and then you start buying your material piecemeal. You know, every trip you put so much to buy your your, your material. Oh, yeah. Ah. Just my yeah. house is right there. My first paycheck to Jack mm -hmm. My mother, his mother, which is my aunt. Uh -huh. My mother goes and says, well, she says, Sister Lita, I got this property. Your mother said, I want that for me now. And that was my first uh, payment. And it's right there. It's right there. Yeah. You know, you, you can leave it for all your children. You can leave it for all, all my children. And, and that's what we used to, you know what I mean? It, it'll come back. I, I think it, 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 will, it will come back to what it used to be because right now, because a lot of uh, 
the young boys, mm -hmm. and even girls come and say, Chabai, can you have some property that you are then they find and all that? I say, what are they property you were building full and charging to me, be trying to work on it. And I, who I know who have property, I will send them, who have good titles, I'll send them to go to it. And that's what's going that's what After you've got that, you got to go there. So, you know, you know uh, like I Rich said much earlier, you know, uh, our pride and joy. When we were young, grown up, and me and daddy and mother said, we're going to Green Tail Key today. <laughs> That's just like you're going to Nassau. Because yeah. yeah. Green Tail Key was the capital yeah. of the north. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? You could go to the spoil shop. You could go to Harlow shop. You could go to Chester shop. You could you go to and, and so in a shop. You gotta, and then you get through, you, you don't shop in because that's mm -hmm. what's the main thing. And you know you're going to Green Tail Key. You know you uh, you, uh, you, you don't sleep that night before. <laughs> oh, you don't sleep that night. No way. You sleep in your clothes. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. You know you get some. Yeah. Well, nobody sauces and wine bread and some orange sauce. Oh, yeah, that, that, that. They, 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 yeah, they, 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 they were, were, were the day. good days, man. And, yeah. but, but, and when they're going like that, uh, you're not going one boat, that's at least but three or four boats. Yeah. And you know, you're going in confidence. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and that's the big thing. All the guys are great deal yeah. too, yeah. you know what I mean? It's on the vest, too, yeah. And now, they got it easy. They yeah. could jump in the car with the truck and they could go to Marshall. Yeah, they could yeah, go to yeah, yeah. And they, you know, and now, as it go now, you know, coming down for, uh, uh, up from there for a little hardware building there, hardware down there, you know, a little, a little thing, you know. You, you got a just on these trash you keep from such a class. You got this the young boy open up a gas station and mm -hmm. thing, and they got the next one open up. You know, mm -hmm. everything is since the hurricane is, mm -hmm. you could see them popping up, up yeah. popping up. So you could see uh -huh. things are uh, more. Yeah. Now you only asked me how Cooper Song got his name. Okay. And how that had his name S C Boodle in the school. Tell me the story. Tired oh, yeah. every <laughs> Tell me the story. How did Cooper Song get his name? In eighteen seventy eight. A young man by the name of Prince Albert Bootle II, at the age of 14, he left Bootle Bay, Grand Bahama. You familiar with Grand Bahama? Mm -hmm. That's between West End and Eight Mile Rock area. And he feel like it was a better way of life for them and then he took his family, his parents and some of his sisters and brothers and they moved in. They were a little bit size of us, uh, you familiar with size, you know what that is? So that's a plant, vanilla locally, but it's a term that you make rope from, okay. old rope and thing. That was this this community was literally covered with, with those those uh, just grow wild. Yeah. And that was a big seller internationally. And so he figured that was a good place, and he squat here. And the face, his he brought with him his mother, I think three or four of his sisters and two of his brothers. And one of the crew members of the boat got his older sister pregnant. And they had to, yeah, but gun shot, uh, shot gun with it. They had to, <laughs> and the first baby born here yeah, was, the, uh, the, the father was William Bill Cooper and the mother was Diane Boodle Cooper. Yeah. And they got married and they, uh, they the first baby born here yeah, was, was born to the Cooper. That's how the, but the first settlers here yeah, was the Boodles. The Boodle. So that's Cooper's style. That's how they named it because the, the baby, the first, that's how they named Community M days. Either by first settlers or the first, you know, and that's how the name Cooper's style came about. And S.C. Bootle, he was the first teacher taught here in Cooper's town. He was the nephew of Albert Bootle. And uh, he taught over the pri that's where the primary school is on that property there. Yeah. And he was the first black member of parliament for Abaco. And in, in, in eight, 19, 1968, he was elected to the House of Assembly. And that's, that's your family, right? Yeah, he and my dad were first cousin. Two brothers here. And all, well, likewise, Chubby. See, Chubby, mother, and my dad were sisters and brothers. So we all are Boodles, but he's, from oh. he's a Grand Mama Williams, yeah. an Abaco Boodle. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that the storm has connected Grand Bahama and Abaco in new ways? Say again? Like the storm that Dorian has connected Grand Bahama and Abaco in new ways? Oh, yeah. You mean with friendship in Moldavia? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we, oh, we, we transport oh, yeah. goods. When we have our problem, they transport goods to us when we, when, you know, it was Floyd when we had a. Yeah, but, uh, but which that's one that's right. That's right. What had, no, what had 
them and then hit us. Uh, and then all the crew them just uh, carry uh, water uh, and uh, the rain? one of them stormed yeah, there, then the hit them and then hit us. Yeah. And we had we sent small, small boats, you know, because the water shallow on that side. Yeah. Everybody getting their speedboat and just carry water and food to them. And same thing with us. Yeah. You know, for you to get to Grand, they have a ferry service from Crown Haven across uh, and anything you want you uh, send to Grand Bahama and they send, you know, it's a good relationship. Most all of the business, the white, uh, the business people in Grand Island are descend from Manawa, Hotan, uh, 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 Cherokee, you know, they send yeah, yeah, yeah. And when, uh, during the 60s, mm -hmm. uh, during, that's when we have to go to line the trade. Yeah. Because we uh, that's when uh, uh, Freeport, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Plano, uh -huh. you know, that's when we got all the, uh, you leave from here and, Oh, I don't go on the boat, then you go to go on the line. Yeah, yeah. Mine a trade, Calvin. Plumbing, yeah. uh, different other things. That's how I line road building. You know what I mean? And then they go, because ever, ever in my uh, older brother who owned this, uh, they, they were captain because they, 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 they had to go that way because Daddy and Uncle Prince, yeah. they, they were captains, yeah. so the <laughs> children, they had to, you know, uh, they're uh, just like a uh, 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 grandfather. Uh -huh. All the rascals and children, then they had to be a captain. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, that that's just uh, the Avaco breed. Yeah. You know that, that, that seafaring there. Seafaring. Put out more cap than any other country I know other island in the Bahamas. Interviewed by Mia Cambridge, May twenty twenty one. Funding for this interview was provided by the International Organization for Migration Bahamas. Dorian and beyond, battered but not broken. For more information, please visit us online at www.dorianandbeyond.org.